Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we will be mining with our GPUs on our SBCs, basically like the Tinker Boards or anything that has a Mali GPU. Now, if you ask if this is pointless, probably, but it's fun and because we can, so let's get started. All right, before we begin, uh, I gotta say that I am actually using the Tinker Board itself, which has a Mali 760 GPU, and it's using the Rock chip, and it's on a 32-bit platform. These are all important factors. Now, you need 32-bit because the guys from Mali only devs in 32-bit, so they won't be uh, pushing out any drivers for 64-bit, so make sure that you're, you're on a 32-bit platform. Two, you gotta make sure the developers of the board also implemented graphic drivers for your board, like the Tinker Board did. So I I don't want to hear all those comments saying like oh it's not working for my graphic card you, you got to do the research i can't help you with that you got some weird board uh I, I don't even know if it works for the orange pie but i know orange pie has the molly chip uh the rock 64 that's a 64 bit operating system but i did find that it has a 32 bit operating system but i don't know if it's going to work because i don't know if the drivers are baked in there anyway you're going to have to do a trial and error type test for it. Now, I know it works for a Tinker Board because that's what I'm working with. All right, so to get started, we are gonna be installing the latest version of Tinker Board, which you can navigate over to our website, download the image, and then use Etcher to load it into SD card. Once that's done, I'm gonna go right into a desktop. All right, now that we jumped into our desktop, the first thing you wanna do is sudo app get update. While we're waiting for that to update, you wanna pull up my website. Now, I'm gonna have a link to this post basically you could just copy and paste the commands that way you don't have to be confused about what you need to get as far as uh, repositories and all that so pull up my website link below as soon as that's done the first thing you want to do is grab this line this is basically every software that you need to compile the miner so i'm going to do a copy and then right over here i'll just paste it in Hit enter. Now this is gonna take about maybe five minutes depending on the speed of your internet. So um, let this go. As soon as you're done, come back and then you can grab the next files. So if you wanna be able to check if your graphic cards are working, you could do sudo app get install cl info. And that's basically a small utility that says, yes, I detect your GPU. So we're just gonna type cl info and you're gonna see number of platform zero. That means I have one graphic card or else it's just gonna spit back out with an error. Now, next thing, let's grab our miner. So we're gonna go over to git or this line right here, which is paste. Now I modified the code. I, I actually uh, forked over the original SG miner, then modified the code so it compiles nicely on ARM devices like the Tinkerboard. Now there's a bunch of algorithms that's already pre-built in there. Not all, but a bunch of them that works already, like script or Lyra to Rev2 or a lot of a lot of algorithms are in there. So you don't have you're not stuck with mining just one coin. You could actually change it up if you want to. So now that we grab the repository from my GitHub, we're just gonna go into SG, CD into SG minor, change the directory to that, and we're gonna get the sub module. So git sub module initiate git sub module update. This is gonna take a minute or two. Oh, actually, no, I was wrong. Then auto reconfigure basically dash i. This will actually run all the scripts in an order where it will spit out a configure script. I, I think that's the best way to describe it. So just let this run. It's going to run all the programs in order or all the scripts in order. Okay, now that is done. The next thing you want to do is just configure it. Now you could actually scroll down a little bit and I have a quick configure script, which is right here. But depending on the device you're using, you might not want to use the same command, uh, namely the march. So here I have CFlex2, Optimization2, March Native, which is gonna take the native CPU and compile that into it. And the most important thing that you need to do is disable ADL. Now ADL is basically the um, uh, ATI's version of controlling graphic cards. And we don't have that catalytic driver thing where we could actually modify the speed or uh, fan speed or whatever of the GPU. So we have to disable that. Okay, here's the real test. As soon as this finished compiling, 
you're gonna see this huge prompt. I'll show you in a second what I mean. And it's gonna spit out if you are able to mine with your GPU. Okay, here it is. So you see this? Right here it says found GPU mining supported enabled. That is what you're looking for. If you're if you get to this step and it doesn't say it's found, it says not found, then you missed a step or your graphic card absolutely does not work with this platform. So I could tell you for a fact that Raspberry Pi will not work on this because it doesn't have a model GPU and they don't have OpenCL working. So, um, sorry about Raspberry Pi. Okay, next up, now that we're done, we're just gonna do make-j4. All right, and we're done here. So we could LS and you're gonna see the SG miner on the screen. Okay, we're, we're not done with configuring this yet because the miner itself just works now, but you're gonna to have to fine tune it to get the speeds that you want. So initially, if I say SG miner, and I'm gonna be mining uh, a coin called Mona coin or vert coin, you could say either one, it's uh, the same algorithm, which is Lira to Rev2. I'm gonna do LY, RA2 Rev2. And the pool that I'm using is obviously Supernova. It's fine, you could use any pool. I just been using them for a long time, so I don't really mind it. So stratum oop, dash O stratum plus TCP Mona dot supernova.cc port is 2995 and the username and my password. Okay, one of the first things you need to do is on a desktop setting or on a bigger GPU, you're gonna be able to do bigger work sizes. Work sizes which requires a lot of CPU computing and also RAM. So uh, the default when you first start off is usually 256, but that's already way too big for our guys. So you're gonna notice, I am gonna change the workload with dash W to 64. Now you can play around with this because every coin is different. If you're gonna be mining script, you might be able to get away with 128, or if you're mining a heavier coin, um, I can't think of it off the top of my head, you might wanna change it to 32. So it, it goes in the multiples of that. It usually goes in the multiples of 64, but you can kinda of get away with using 32. So now that I got the workload, in there's also something called the intensity which i'll get into in a second so let me start this coin up now it's basically on the mona pool and it's mining off the gpu and if you notice the speeds off the top left you're going to see the average hash rate is around 34 or something like that and that's okay but you can actually still increase that by changing the intensity so i'm going to let this float for a second and you're going to notice it's going to normalize around like 34 or 32 right around that area Honestly, uh, while we're waiting for this to normalize, I am just gonna put my two cents in there. I started mining back, I think 2011, 2012, right when Litecoin just came out and GPU mining wasn't a thing yet. And to mine a Litecoin using CPU, I was only getting five K hashes, just right around there. And that was using a core two dual with four cores and stuff like that. So for a little tinker board and a little tiny guy like this to be able to do 30, it, it's it's a fast, but to our standards, 2017, to our standards, 34 kilo hashes is not much. I mean, you might be able to get away with like the newer coins that just came out on the market where the difficulty is super low, but to mine Litecoin with that speed, it's you won't get any payout, probably not for a year because it takes that long, but yeah, it's fun. All right, now that you see it's normalized at 34, I'm gonna quit this by using Q. And I'm gonna change this a little bit. So now I'm gonna add a dash capital I, and I'm gonna change this to 18. So you could go from four all the way to 31. I found 18 to be pretty good. You could probably do 19 or 20, but 18 seems to be good because I could still get the mouse input control. Now that I hit 18, and you're gonna notice the speed difference. And then if you play around with the workload, and also the intensity, you might be able to squeeze one or two more K hashes out of it. So all depending on your a uh, coin that you're mining and all depending on what settings you put in that you could fine tune that. And there we have it, just changing the intensity and also the workload and stuff like that. I'm gonna be able to float around 43 with this setup. Now you could probably go a little bit higher, but then again, I gotta disable the desktop, use SSH to go in and I could probably squeeze one or two more K hashes out of that. And here and there to optimize it, but yeah. GPU mining is working on our tiny little Tinkerboard, you know, Molly GPU and stuff. If you got any other boards that has Molly GPU, 32-bit, 
all these factors, you're gonna be able to mine using those boards. And then on top of that, if you're mining on GPU, you could still use your CPU to mine. So you're mining two different coins or two of the same coins if you want at the same time, thus profiting a little bit more than you were before. All right, so that's it for me, guys. If you guys enjoyed this, please hit that like button. If you want to support this channel and you like what I do here, check out my store and also my Patreon. If you guys have any questions about this, not related to what drivers or how you get this working, I will be happy to answer them. And as always, hack till it hurts.